Hey everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I'm going to show you uh, identity with the dapper. Okay, so uh, before going to much more detail, I want to share my membership program and in this membership program, I will share you complete .NET Core video tutorials and uh, complete source code. Uh, it's project based uh, course. So I will share you two projects in each technology. Okay, so this is only one time fee. Uh, okay that is only one time fee and i will share you complete dotnet core dapper rest api angular react sql server css jquery html css dotnet blazor unit testing ms test unit and not only these technologies i will cover uh, uh, lots or more technologies so uh, in just 800 rupees okay so you know uh, not only one technology i will share you complete in just 800 rupees for the indian user and dollar fifteen for other. Okay, so must to join this membership. If you want to join this membership, just get, um, just go for a video description box and where you um, get a Google form link and fill the form and get the membership. So fill this form, your name, your email ID, your contact number, transaction reference ID, your order ID, or PayPal ID. If you uh, belong from uh, India, just pay 800 rupees for Indian user on this QR, uh, QR code. And if you are belong from other country like US, UK and Australia, just pay uh, using PayPal ID. That is my PayPal ID and you can use this QR code also. Okay, so uh, thank you guys for watching this video and your, uh, you know, uh, that link will be dis uh, available in a video description box. So must to check video description box where you just get the form link. Okay, and fill this form and get the membership. So uh, if you want to add, if you want to uh, uh, configure identity with the dapper, you need uh, this table in your database. So here we have a database table like uh, authorization DB. These the uh, that is the database, and here we have uh, these table in the database. The like uh, ASP.NET Core claims, ASP.NET role, ASP.NET user claim, ASP.NET user login, ASP.NET user roles, ASP.NET user, ASP.NET user token. Okay, so you need this uh, these tables. Okay, and just after that, so you need to add this connection string in app settings .json file. So here we have a local dbms equal local db that is the server name and you know that is the database name. So it's not a database name. So just remove the data and just add authorization db here. Authorization db. Now after this you can just add a dapper package in your uh, test project. So add a dapper package here. So manage new get package, add a dapper here. Okay, so that is the dapper. Now install it. And wait for some time. Okay, okay. Now, after install this dapper package, you need to configure uh, your uh, services in your program.cs file here. So here we have a connection with the identity. So there we go. So builder.services.add identity, application user identity role, add entity framework core that is application DB context. But right now application DB context is used for entity framework core, but I need a dapper. Okay, so we need uh, actually this types of uh, services here. So builder door services at transient IDB connection. And here we go for the new SQL connection like that uh, connection string. Okay, so there we, uh, there is a no need to add it here. So just comment it here. Okay, now just after that we need a application DB context here. You know that we need a user store here to configure our services so here you know that application db context is to uh, tell that uh, user data will stored in that connection string but uh, here we have a user store already there we have a user store and what is the store is here that is dapper user store so you can just add 
dapper dapper user store like that so you can just uh, you know here we have a dapper user store and dapper user store is actually inherited with the i user store and with the application user class you know so uh, that is so where we use a simple uh, you know uh, that is the dapper user store uh, connection string and here we have a uh, configuration dot get connection string default connection that is connection string and new sql connection string in the create connection so here we have a uh, create async command uh, create async i mean to say that user manager dot create async that is the simple user you can just add it here with the idb connection connection create connection and connection dot open sql that is insert into asp.net user id username email and password hash values is like that id username email and password hash so just call this user and uh, just insert these uh, fields and after that connection dot execute async sql and with the user okay and return identity result dot success if the connection uh, if the result is succeeded find by id async like that you can do this uh, perform and if uh, just add instead of add entity framework store you need add user store like that so here we go so you know uh, it's just too much simple you can just uh, 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 perform any types of query uh, in dapper uh, and that is already done in entity framework so it's very simple to configure your identity with the help of dapper if you have any question and uh, just mail me or comment this uh, video and please uh, join my membership and you get an unlimited code and uh, unlimited videos uh, it's my journey actually i will share my 10 to 14 year experience with you with the help uh, with the help of membership program i uh, i will share you complete video tutorials and uh, complete source code okay so uh, there is a no issue and um, you know uh, it's a completed uh, video uh, complete video tutorials complete source code i will share you okay and project based com uh, project based tutorial okay so there is uh, uh, no need to add something extra only one time fees you just get unlimited source code as well as unlimited videos so must to join this membership and thank you very much for watching this video keep watching all other